This weather we've been having the past couple days is just absolutely perfect. So there is no excuse for you not to pull out your sneakers and get ready to go for a jog. Tomorrow is Global Running Day, a worldwide celebration of running that encourages everyone to get moving, whether it's for five minutes or five miles. There are events happening across the country like the Kids Run and Adult Fun Run in Gaithersburg. It's happening at Lifetime Fitness. The Kids Run starts at 430. The Adult Run starts at 630. In Falls Church, the Mad Fox Run Club is going to host a group run at 6.30 with drinks, food, and giveaways to follow. There's also a fun run at Great Falls, Virginia National Park at 6 o'clock. All this information is on our website, WSA9.com. Additionally, I'm going to post some stuff to my Facebook page, the Rock and Roll Marathon Series. They're posting some sick sales. They've got coupon codes. I'll put those up on my face pa Facebook page in a bit. All right, now this summer, you are likely to see more runners out on the trails and the sidewalks. So whether you're training for a marathon, you're taking the dog for a run, you're just out chilling for a few minutes, listen, safety should be your number one priority. We're going to talk about that off script tonight with Julie Sapper, who's the co-founder of Run Farther and Faster. That's a group that helps runners push themselves and aspire to new heights. So, Julie, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, I'm a big runner. I think people know that who follow me on social media. So four ba big things that I wanted to talk to you about that it, when it comes to safety, and they are cars, bikes and scooters, animals, and predators. These are all things that you have to think about when you're a runner, whether you're a man or a woman. But as a woman, you've got to be a lot more careful, I suppose, with you know who's out there and who could be up to no good. But you've, you've brought in a little demonstration, some stuff to show us, some gadgets to keep us safe. That's right. I wanted to talk to you today because tomorrow is Global Running Day. Make sure runners are safe so that running can be accessible to everyone. So there's things that runners can have, gadgets, and then there's things runners can do. So first we're gonna talk about a couple of gadgets. Cool, cool. And the first one is new on the market. This is awesome. It's called the Silent Beacon, and it's a life alert button. Remember those commercials, yeah. help I fall and I can't get up? Right. It's for runners or walkers. And what you do is you just push these two buttons at the same time, and the Silent Beacon automatically calls 911 plus six additional emergency contacts and sends out your GPS information. Nice. This is different than a cell phone because it takes a lot less time. You just carry it in your pocket, right. push the two Matt? buttons, and done. Yeah. The key thing is is how small and how light mm -hmm. it is. You can put this in your pocket and not even feel it, so it's not as it's not as annoying as you know running with your phone or running with some huge bulky thing. So that's good. Correct. Correct. Does it, does it make a big noise too, or just calls the cops? It does not, and it is Bluetooth activated, so you actually do need your phone with it. But how it's different is you don't, it's not cumbersome. You don't have to take yeah. a phone out. You yeah. just push it, and you're done. It takes five seconds versus 28 seconds when you have to call on a phone. So it's a really great tool for safety. Gotcha. So in addition, we encourage all of our runners to use a road ID. I'm, I'm guessing you have one. I don't actually. Not, you not need yet. one. You need one. Um, my bike for sure. You can put one on your shoe. I wear mine on my shoe on your on your wrist, and what it does is it Man. provides your emergency contact information and this can be found on roadid.com along with any allergies you have or medical information. It's just something little that you basically can just velcro to your to your shoelaces. Again, you don't see it, you don't feel it. If you have a medical emergency, something have anything happens to you, it's got all of your information on it because, you know, generally we're not running with our phones, our driver's licenses all that kind of exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So another important thing is when you are running, you want to be able to see. Yeah. Um, a lot of us are out running in the dark early in the morning or late at night because that's when we're not working. Yeah. So it's really important to have modalities that allow you to see, and a flashlight is not practical. So this is a run light. So this, you just push the button here, and it operates just like a flashlight, yeah. but it's much lighter. And while these look like gloves, they're actually not. They're just they're gloves for the purpose of carrying it, so you don't have to hold anything, yeah, so your gonna, fingers are free. Yeah, your, your, your hands aren't going to start sweating by wearing this. Correct, thing. Yeah. right. Okay. So this is great. Now, this is in terms of being able to see along with a headlamp, which you can use, but yeah. it's just as important, if not more important, to have gear to allow you to be seen. So be visible. Don't go running gear. in black shorts and a black shirt, right. whether it's day or night, because, yeah, you're just not going to be visible. And you brought up a good point. You don't need to just wear refl reflective gear during the nighttime hours. Yeah. Wear it during the day because cars don't see us. Yeah, construction workers are wearing it. Why shouldn't you? Exactly. Something I want to talk about, throw up this picture that I, uh, I, I published uh, a few minutes ago. This is something I want to talk about when you're, when you're dealing with cross traffic, when you're running uh, on, a, on a sidewalk. You see that Jeep right there? This Jeep wants to make a right on the Massachusetts Avenue. If I'm running on that sidewalk, the guy in that Jeep is looking to the left because he's making sure no traffic is coming. And so if you as a runner don't make eye contact with that driver, don't think that you can pass in front of them because they're just going to drive into you. 
That's a great reminder. It's super important to make eye contact with every driver. And if you think they might not see you, assume they don't yeah. and just wait. And no, none of us are in that much of a hurry to risk our lives. Yeah. So I think that's very important. And drivers, they, it's not intentional. Everyone's in a hurry in the DC area and yeah. they're just not taking the time to look right. Yeah, one other thing that I just wanna add, you wanna be present. You can listen to your music, but you gotta stay tuned. Animals are out there everywhere in Florida. Funny story, I almost tripped on an armadillo once that was on a sidewalk <laughs> while running. Julie Sapper, thanks so much for coming in and talk with us. Some great tips here. Global Running Day tomorrow. Check out my Facebook page for some more discounts and tips. We're coming right back.